Lilyspot sent me this uh, video of someone creating art using only emojis. I mean, what is a phone for if it's not an emoji device? And the outcome here is pretty cool. Now, obviously, there's a bit of thinking outside the box as far as, I mean, those legs are the hand, the nose is the neck, you know, obviously, there's a little bit of nipping and tucking to make it work, but results are the thing that speak the loudest, and look at that. I mean, it's a little awkward looking, but it's sort of cool. It's important that you all know that this is something you can do yourself without fancy equipment. But after we cover the basics, I'm gonna I'm gonna dive in deep and see how epic an artwork I can make, if I can. So when I do that, I will be using the brand new Huey on Canvas 13 with my phone, and I'll get into that later. It's super cool. It's my favorite drawing device and they've sponsored this video. But I'm gonna start off doing a few with just my hand and the phone so you guys feel empowered to do it. Get inspired, make your own, tweet them out, use that hashtag, and you will have a chance to win one of three Huey on Canvas 13s that are gonna be up for grabs. So more on that later. And FYI, I'm just using Sketchbook on my phone, Autodesk Sketchbook, which is a free app. And then trying to figure out if if I could do this, I realize you can add text, and then in the text area, all of the phone emojis come up, which by the way, are different on each phone you use. But let's say, for example, I want this basketball guy. <laughs> Let me make it big there, there you go. Done, new layer. He's gonna have a cowboy hat. He's a cowboy basketball. As you can see, it's just that simple. You can select the one of the layers you've worked on. Let's say this, this body here. Get my eraser, get rid of this arm. And if you think, ah, oh, this guy's a bit of a pipsqueak, fear not. Yeah, muscle arm. That's like super easy, barely an inconvenience. So we're gonna step it up a little bit now. So let's come up with a custom character. Go this, this nice dark haired girl. There we go. It's gonna be a lot of layers in this, isn't there? Oh, boom! <laughs> have to be giant! But this is where we can get a little fancy. My eraser. And we've got an insanely fashionable beanie. Oh, there we go. Glasses. Can I apply like a layer style? Oh, there we go. Blending. What's that? There you go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's fashion-y. She's <laughs> wearing both uh, an outfit appropriate for the cold and the Heat. Ah, uh, yep, this is only gonna get better from here. Maybe a bikini was a bad choice. Is there a coat I can put on the top of her? <laughs> There's a few options. Apparently underneath the bikini. Oh no. I'm not good at this yet. Oh, there's swords! Ha! <laughs> Whoa, that's a, an interesting way to sheathe. I'm gonna put this over, over here. Boots. Beautiful. Yeehaw. The bicep could work as like a waist or something. Oh my God. That's weirdly perfect. <laughs> We've almost got a torso. This middle finger, I feel like could be a, a neck. That's perfect. I'm almost speechless. This is absolutely a work of art. Check this out. Yeah. Great. And then all I have to do is reposition my sword. I mean, some of you have been complaining that I haven't been doing enough character design sessions anymore, but here, you, I mean, no more complaining. Okay, so I've demonstrated doing a couple with just the phone, just my hands, and you can do that yourself. But now I wanna dive in the deep end and see how far I can take this new medium. I am going to plug in my Human on Canvas 13. It comes with everything you need to plug straight into your computer and get working, but you can optionally add a USB-C to USB-C cable. It's literally the one cable to plug in and power and use your tablet, but also with your Android device. The Huey on Canvas 13 is available in three awesome colors and the brand new Pentec 3.0 battery free pen is the best they've ever produced. With over 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, tilt support, and a really stable and lower position pen nib to bring you a lifelike drawing experience. And now let's get on to the mobile experience. You plug it in and then all of a sudden you have a replication of your phone on the tablet. This is a full-on art studio in your pocket. Now they have a deal for you guys watching this video. For a limited time, you can get 10% off from the official Huey on store using the code JAZZA10. If you want to order directly off of Amazon, you can get a 5% discount by making sure you click the discount tick box in the checkout. I'm gonna give away three of these beautiful devices. All you have to do is use your phone and create your own amazing emoji artworks using hashtag artmoji. The most impressive or hilarious ones will have a chance to win one of these babies. All the details for that competition I'll leave in the description, so go check that out and check out the Canvas 13 if you're looking to get into digital art and animation or if you're a professional and you're looking for more versatility or utility on the go. Now we're gonna be able to get really fancy with our emojis and I'll fill some of the gaps with some of the actual painting tools in the program. But of course, the bulk of it will be emojis. We need an environment, be a beautiful city skyline off in the distance. See if we can have 
some sort of office building in the mid-ground. Foreground, we're in a beautiful park. A leash, there's the doggy, there you go. And in the foreground, our main character. We're gonna have someone in the in the foreground foreground taking a picture. I'm just gonna have to move this dog walking dude over here. There you go, that'll do. So we have room in the foreground for someone to take a photo of this lovely, beautiful day in the park. That's the plan. Let's see how that goes. Oh, there we go. We've got some environment stuff. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Perfect, done. I've got, I've got the sky line. <laughs> Grab a nice oil brush and I'm just gonna pinch this sky color here and uh, lend that into the, in the background. That's what we want. Nice, clean, beautiful blue sky. And we'll move on to the cityscape. Now, how easy are you gonna make this on me, emojis? Pretty easy. <laughs> hey, there's like whole city skyline things. Let's grab this one, put that down. Let's uh, expand it, not too much, because we might put it down a couple of times. I want it to be a really neat outline. Oh wait, is there like a lasso? There is. Selection. Yeah, there we go, you ready? Just gonna grab only these rectangle areas. Now just use my eraser. In it, there you look at, oh my God. This might as well be Photoshop. <laughs> I wanted a few feature buildings, so let's see if we can find any of those here. Well, there's a crane. That's cool. All right, you're going in. Hey, we can put in like a big bridge in the background. Move that back there and then just erase the edges a bit. The color of the sky behind the bridge emoji isn't quite the same as the color of our sky. Oh, there you go, hue, saturation, level adjustment. If I just make it brighter, more saturated. Sort of pushes it in the background a little bit too, which is which is fitting. Beautiful. This is fun. <laughs> oh, we got a stadium. <laughs> Perspective's a little off, but I can squash it like that and then just put stuff in front of it and it'll look quite fitting. Oh my God. I've got some boats here, but I actually feel like if this boat were on its side like that, I mean, with a few minor tweaks, and then I'll try flipping the other half of it and just putting it there. I'm gonna grab the whole thing and flip it vertically. You ready? Boom! Now it's an office building. This is really coming together. I'm gonna select all these buildings and I'm just going to transform and drag this down just to give it a little more height to work with. Now we're starting to build into the mid ground and I wanna see a little bit of a beautiful landscape. Oh, hey, would this work? Bit of a highway in the distance, sort of? Uh, not so much. I mean, there's this. That's just this whole beautiful thing. Let's use that. And then just use a big old eraser and, oh my God. A little bit of refinement, but otherwise that, that, was, that made that easier. Where do I find a tree? I mean, it doesn't have to be a tree. I could turn something into a tree like <gasps> broccoli. <laughs> I am way, way too amused by this whole process. And for the tree trunk, ooh, ooh, ping pong paddle. What a bloody legend. Oh, and look, little house with a little tree. Trick that, put that over there. Now I'm happy with all that, but it's starting to look a little bit busy and I wanna focus on the foreground now. So I'm gonna drag my sketch to the very top layer. But underneath that, I'm just gonna fill in a plain white and then just bring down the opacity a little bit so I can see it behind there, but it's not too distracting. I can focus on the sketch color and work on the foreground. I need a nice green hill, but it can't be exactly the same as the other ones we've used. <gasps> the pear is perfect. And then because we've got our framework, I can just airbrush on top the colors that are already here. And then I'll just blend out from my midtones and highlights. And in fact, I'm gonna use the smudge pen. And just give it a little, little smooshies. Blend it out and... It's beautiful. And we did say there was gonna be some sort of fence, so let's put something in there. If there's a fence emoji, I'll be blown away. Maybe I need to move on to other categories. <gasps> it's perfect. Flip it up this way. I'm just gonna erase the bottom bit and we've got a fence. Duplicate that a couple of times. Lay them all out and boom, fence. I feel like I need a little bit more layering. So I'm gonna put a few things behind the fence and mound and then a few things in the park and then we'll start to put in our main characters. Keep it really straightforward here. We've got a house with, with trees. We'll just use that again, but just flip it and tuck it over there. 
In fact, I think we can, there you go, that's pretty fancy. <laughs> that was effective, let's do that again. I'm really tempted to do something stupid. And it's Mordor. I mean, the great thing is, these fruits and vegetables are perfect, like, foliage. <laughs> <laughs> Pop that there, there you go. Literally need just like a pole for a sign. Oh, flag. Put it over here. Get rid of the top bit. Little sign here telling people to throw their rubbish in the trash. Surely there's a trash can emoji. you. Where are you? Yup, there you go. I knew you wouldn't let me down. And put you down there. There you go. All right, man walking a dog. We're gonna take it easy on ourselves with this one. We're gonna get fancy with the other characters. But this guy's in the distance. All we need is a basic walking emoji. Put you over there, there you go. Please tell me there's a doggy on his side. Yes! There we go, just put him in there. Oh, big dog. <laughs> there we go. Now, it'd be irresponsible, of course, to walk the dog without a leash, so let's give him a quick little leash. Zoom, ready? Boom. A oh, collar too. Not just collar, fancy collar. Gold, little medallion, look at you. Good boy, you're a good boy. Now how the hell am I gonna do a picnic blanket? Maybe a flag. You know what, I'm gonna go with a good old American flag because if I position this, tweak the perspective, and then I can just tweak the color of the layer. Nice desaturated purple. What is this thing? Download Bitmoji. I don't know if you can put them in the art program, but I'll try. Cause then in theory, I could design myself and put myself in there. Take a selfie? Are you gonna automatically make me a Bitmoji? Bitmoji me. Really? I mean, come on. I'm not sure I agree with the hairstyle choice. There we go, that's me. Oh my God, I can have a doge, doge emoji t-shirt. Got me Bitmojis. I'm going back to me program. Oh, there's stuff in here. There's me on the toilet. Oh, look, that's pretty cool. Now, I'll be clear with you, the competition that I'm running, you're not allowed to use Bitmojis. That's cheating. I want to see what you guys do with just emojis. All right, move myself over there. Looking well and truly settled in the park here. So last but not least, our camera person in the foreground. They're taking a photo emoji. Just taking a selfie. I mean, that sort of works. All right, I'll use that. Okay, we've got, we've got the arm. We just need a person. Oh, oh, golf man, he's facing in. I can get rid of the selfie arm because all I need to do is add a little camera. Let's push it behind that layer and make a few final tweaks. Paint away the golf club, tweak the, uh, the brightness. We'll add another little flash effect for good measure. I don't know why they're using a flash in broad daylight in the park, but it's 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 a it's an image aspect that says I'm a camera. But with that done, I think we're finished. You ready? I'm gonna hide my sketch and I'm going to bring the transparent layer down in opacity, but not all the way down because it, it nicely distances the background. And look at that. I made that using nothing but emojis and a bit emoji, but that's our little secret. Seriously, this is like way more fun and weirdly effective than I expected. So I am really curious and excited to see how far you guys can take this and you know how to do it. Follow the guides in the description to enter and you'll have a chance to win one of three Huey on Canvas 13s. I'd love to see videos of you making it because I think the process of seeing the emojis be applied to create something like this is really cool. And in fact, I'm just gonna play it on the screen right now from start to finish in my emoji creation process. It's really satisfying to see it come about. So once again, use the hashtag and follow the instructions in the description, get it up by the deadline on Twitter. And while you're sharing, make sure to put it in our Jassa subreddit so I can see what you did and you can share and get ideas with the community. But this was a weirdly fun and surprisingly cool process. And I hope you enjoyed following along with me and seeing the outcome. I think the outcome is, again, surprisingly cool. And if you think it's surprisingly cool, you know what to do. Hit the like button, that way other people can enjoy the video just like you have. And if you haven't, make sure to subscribe for more fun with art and creativity on this channel. We have loads of fun in all sorts of ways. There are more videos over there you might enjoy. Otherwise, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.